Now, if you've ever watched an infomercial and thought, hey, I could have come up with that, listen to this. There's an innovative company called Invention Land, which helps wannabe inventors turn their dreams into retail reality. And it's a rather unusual place to work, which makes it all the more intriguing. Early show contributor Taryn Winter Brill went for a look. This is also the way into Invention Land. Wow. <laughs> it's like secret the, secret, the secret door. It's a factory that would make Willy Wonka jealous. This is incredible. Oh Welcome. my. And an office that would make the Wizard of Oz green with envy. So this is where all the uh, inspiration happened. Yeah, I bet. This is Invention Land, a Pittsburgh-based development firm that turns unique ideas into affordable everyday products and churns out over 200 new prototypes each month. This one-of-a-kind workspace is an invention in its own right, straight from the mind of creator George Davison. We have a pirate ship because where else would you want to invent a toy than on a pirate ship? And then you have the robot, and that robot is all for electronics inventions. So they, they have symbols kind of attached to them into the imagination of the mind. This is amazing. This 61,000 square foot wonderland is comprised of 16 original departments, ranging from a shack for pet wares to a cave for outdoorsy items and even a speedway for automotive gadgets. Invention Land is really a psychological playground for creative people. It's here to say, you know, you have an idea, all right, great. Davison founded Invention Land after spending years developing a toothbrush sanitizing system, only to find a similar idea in a mail order catalog. He was devastated that his time and money had gone to waste. Now, for a fee, his company of 250 people helps other hopeful inventors bring their concepts to life. Sometimes there's an inspiration that just pops in somebody's mind. Other times people are looking at something and they see a challenge and they start, hey, I think I could do that better. This is what makes me so mad. Minnesota grandmother and amateur chef Jean Reinfuss found such a challenge in her frying pan. Her beloved meatballs kept falling to pieces. I just went into the room where my husband was and I says, I am going to invent a meatball pan. And he says to me, yeah, all right. <laughs> After a quick internet search, she found Invention Land. The company spent over two years shepherding her project to completion. Look at the nice round meatballs. Over 100,000 pans have been sold. And this past spring, Jean and her daughter found her meatball baker in major retail outlets. Check that out. Check it out. <laughs> and her once skeptical husband is now the pan's biggest fan. So I get to taste it? Uh-uh. Never mind. The path from start to store shelf is a nine-step process at Invention Land, including engineering, graphic design, and prototype building. Uh, all sorts of things. I mean, some of them are fun. Some this assembly line approach to trial and error has led products to find success at over 1,000 retailers. There's the Hydrobone, the Bike Board, the Breadit, even Doggy Shoes. I have to say, just looking at this, looking at these products, makes you feel really stupid. <laughs> all these things. I thought of that, but I didn't think to execute. So well, you just feel now you know where to come. Among them is the Hover Creeper, a modern auto mechanics tool that boosts a person off of the ground yeah. using compressed air. <laughs> and we have liftoff. <laughs> when you look around, what is the best part about all this for you? Uh, the people. Invention Land brings in wonderful people. And when they come in, I get to feel the inspiration. I just get to see them light up. And that, to me, is everything, because they're in one of my ideas. It really is a magical place, you guys. It's I love every minute. Disneyland so, for adults. Can Absolutely. Slide? Right, I know. So I brought back some goodies. <laughs> Feel the inspiration. This yeah, is the meatball here? pan, ah. okay? This is uh, $24.99 at Bed Bath & Beyond. One of my favorites, check this out. This is a yeah. serving set for portion sizes, so it measures out protein, starches, vegetables. That is so smart. Isn't that very no smart? No more of this. Amazing. Visualize a tennis ball right. in the palm of the your palm hand. The palm of your hand. $14.99 at Amazon. I love this. This is the bread it. If you ever tried to make chicken cutlets and you have the three sort of bowls of the egg, the flour, the chicken, it's a mess. Yeah. This creates it for you, which is really gotcha. great. That's a man that'll save me hours. Absolutely. A week. $19.99 at QVC. <laughs> yeah. All the chicken you cutlets. Know how I like bread cutlets. <laughs> yeah. And the hydrobone, I love that. That's for dogs if they want to chew on it, obviously, but there's water inside so they can hydrate. That's you can freeze it. Oh, yes, yes. That's $11.99 at Amazon. So some really is great stuff. Is this for stuff. making dog, dog bone um, ice cubes? 
Yes, that's or true. Or dog treats. Dog, dog it's, it's a silicone pan, so it sort of it, it doesn't bend and that right. whole sort of thing. So it's and really this, great. I love this dog dish. I need this for my house because my youngest yes. likes to play in the dog dish. Isn't that great? Thirty four ninety nine at I guess Amazon. He can probably activate it too. Yeah, <laughs> some really great stuff. So oh, he's pretty that's great. Quick. You know that, that that ice dish is going to be great for that canine cocktail party that you were planning. Ah, it is. It is. is. Yeah. Did you I'm get an invitation yet? Not yet, but thanks. <laughs> hey, thank you. Good thanks. stuff. Thanks. Okay. All right, Taryn, good to see you.